If you want to enhance the production quality of your videos, check out this tutorial. So if you're working on visual effects, you need to learn this reverse stabilization technique. So I'm going to walk you through this. Once you nail it down, this is going to change your videos moving forward and you have unlimited potential with this one tool. So I got this clip in my composition. Okay. This is just a handheld clip of a bookcase kind of moving around handheld footage. So what I want to do is I want to make, I want to add some visual effects to this scene while also matching the camera movement of this clip. Now there's a number of ways you could do this. You could use the track camera effect, which works. You could also uh, track motion, but I just want to show you this one technique that works very well that I use a lot. So first we're going to go to warp stabilizer. So you may think this is going to stabilize the clip, but I'm going to change this to no motion. I'm going to keep this as stabilize crop. I'm going to do enhanced reduction. So it's going to take time to analyze the clip. And what it's actually doing is it's taking out the, the handheld motion. If I scroll through, you can see there's no motion to it, which actually works pretty well if you wanted to stabilize the shot. But I'm going to go down here and I'm going to go objective reverse stabilization. Okay. Then it's going to do something funky. It's going to, you're going to have the motion back into it. Then my next step, I'm going to go back to my project panel. I'm going to grab one of my clips here. Okay. So this is just a crack that's forming on a green screen. So I'm going to take that in there. I'm going to go to my effects and presets and I'm going to type in key light. I'm just going to drag this on here. Then I'm going to go screen color. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring, I'm going to scale this down a little bit right to about here. The end of this crack goes to about here. So just to make it more realistic, I'm going to take this mask. I'm going to mask out this part and I'm going to go to subtract on the mask. So it goes behind this bracket here. Then I'm going to take the shape of this. And I'm going to also do subtract and I'll feather each one about five pixels and I'll, I'll scale it up a little bit more. There we go. That looks pretty good. And let me just move this back over. All right. See, so now it look kind of looks like it's going behind it. I'm going to zoom out now. And as you can see, I need to duplicate the motion of the clip. I'm going to go to my bottom frame here and I'm going to copy. I'm going to take this warp stabilizer shot and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go to my top layer and I'm going to pre-compose this. I'm going to select move all attributes in the new composition. After I pre-compose the layer, I'm going to take this warp stabilizer effect and I'm going to turn the effect off. Then I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it onto the top layer of the crack. I'm going to turn the effect back on and then I'm going to change the objective to apply motion to target. And then it's going to say warp stabilizer, choose target layer. So I'm going to choose my target layer as crack green screen. Now you could see that that layer retains the, basically the handheld information that the warp stabilizer effect captured. And this changes the effect. Basically it adds so much realism to, to the shot. 
Um, so now from there, you can kind of use this to stylize it even more. You know, I'm gonna change my blending mode here, opacity. And you could add more effects to it. That one effect right there, this reverse stabilization, really can enhance your production value. As I mentioned, there's multiple ways you could do it. You could do the motion tracking, you could do the 3D motion track. Um, for instances like this, where you're trying to capture the handheld motion of a shot, I feel like to me this works the best um, for this specific instance. And um, yeah, so this is just another great tool to have in your arsenal. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comments below. And if you want even more from us, check out our online shop for digital designs, stickers, mock-ups, and more.